Hello, AOS fans, Robin here with a Word Wednesday post. Yes, today is Wednesday, and I have a word for you, and it's a little bit of a cheat word this week. Uh, the word is Pankhurst. And the reason the word is Pankhurst is the book is uh, Great Women Who Made History uh, for, by Kate Pankhurst. Now, I, I chose Pankhurst because it links into her books, really, because obviously you've got Emmeline Pankhurst, the suffragette. She wrote Great Women Who Changed the World as well, Kate Pankhurst, and uh, she's written this one, uh, Great Women Who Made History, and I kind of thought, oh, well, it's quite actually fantastically great women who made history, and I thought, well, what can I choose? Great isn't really a great word to use. Women is a bit general. Uh, history, again, a bit general. So I've gone for Pankhurst, um, allowing me to use some of those other words later if I need to, because uh, I want to try and use a different word every week. Uh, which may eventually run out, I may run out of words, but uh, today is Pankhurst because Pankhurst ties in nicely to this theme of great women who made history. And this book is published by Bloomsbury. It's six ninety nine in the UK, and as usual, I haven't checked the US price, but people put it up now. And uh, it's a really uh, magic book. Uh, if you've seen uh, Great Women Who Changed the World, that's a great book, filled with uh, brilliant women who, who changed the world, or fantastically great ones. And this one is full of more fantastically great women, and it has uh, great informative text and um, some really, really lovely diagrams, uh, diagrams, uh, pictures, and uh, it's really engaging, I would say, probably for aged uh, sort of eight upwards. Um, and uh, the, the women included in this volume are uh, Harriet Tubami, uh, Boudicca, Flora Drummond, uh, Quijin Nua Inyat Khan, Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, Pocahontas, Valentina Tereshkova, Ada Lovelace, Shaida Alhura, Hapshep Soot, Josephine Baker, Mary Walsencraft, and Mary Shelley. And it goes through, there's a couple of double space spread for each person, and uh, it starts with Harriet. Chubami, uh, who was the, uh, around 1820 in the slave state of Maryland, changed her identity to Harriet Tubman where she, when she escaped. And she has shamelessly made repeated trips to Maryland between 1850 and 1860 to help many more sl slaves run away. So uh, she was the runaway slave and underground railway conductor. And I have to say, I've never heard of her. And it's a bit shameful, really, that I uh, have not heard of quite a lot of these women. And I think that probably shows uh, a st the state of the way history has been taught over the years and how things, books like this, are changing that. Uh, and I, I mean, it's just brilliant. There's Boudicca. Big, big Boudicca fans in this house. Uh, Flora Drummond, one of the suffragettes. Uh, Qui Jun, Qi Jun, um, Qi Qi Jin. I'm afraid my Chinese is, is woeful. Uh, but uh, so she was fought against uh, sort of for, for better women's rights in China and against foot binding. Uh, Nua in Inyat Khan was part of the SOE and the resistance in uh, France, and uh, radio back to uh, sort of was basically a spy. Radio back to England with uh, information about the Germans. Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, the first sort of female doctor, Pocahontas, uh, Valentina Tereshkova. So we've, as you can see, this is the first Russian cosmonaut, the female Russian cosmonaut. You can see that we go through uh, sort of quite a lot of different countries and cultures uh, with the great women that were in there. Ada Lovelace, who was well ahead of her time and her ideas about computing. Um, and it goes through, we got Saeed Al-Hura, who um, basically uh, is effectively a sort of ruler of Morocco in the, 14, in the 1400s. Um, and then there's an ancient Egyptian person I can't pronounce the name of, Hatshepsut. Um, there's a female pharaoh. And then Josephine Baker there, uh, put on a dazzling show for the world. She was born in Missouri. Her family was very poor at a young age. She, Josephine had to work to earn money. When Josephine was growing up, black people were treated very unfairly. So it sort of about the history of the time, contextualizes everything for you. Talks about segregation here. Uh, and then uh, she goes to Paris, where she could be herself. And so that was, and then performing tonight, the sensational Josephine Baker. And the book goes through and it ends with uh, Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley. It talks about Frankenstein, talks about uh, Wollstonecraft's vindication of the rights of women and how important they were for promoting uh, equal rights for women. So this book is a brilliant book. Uh, particularly, I have to I hate to say, it, if you've got girls, uh, my boys, and like, oh, but it's all about women, which is, is a real shame. I've, I've tried to uh, try to engage them with it, and you know, perhaps it's just like about me rather than them, but 
Uh, anyway, it's a great book to have on your shelf, a great book to have in a school to help promote uh, you know, girls who are fed up with hearing about brilliant men through history all the time. And, um, and then at the end, I love this bit, the bookshelf of brilliance, uh, with kind of a little bit about each of them uh, and who they were. And, you know, and it says, uh, how will you make history, which is inspiring for a child of any age or gender. And I, you know, I can't really rate that book high enough. It's fantastically great women who made history. It's by Kate Pankhurst. It's published by Bloomsbury. And I think it's out on something like the 8th of February. So I think by the time this is up, it will be out. So do go check it out. So there's Great Women Who Have Changed the World as well. It's a really great book. And so do check that one out too. That's the end of today's Word Wednesday. And until next time, uh, do enjoy a reading. Tell me who your favourite woman from history is. Tell me who you think isn't included in the book, who maybe should be. And let me know if you've got the other one, what you think of it. And uh, more. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll be back next week with another Word Wednesday when I've got a little history of science for you. So do look out for that and I will see you then. Okay, take care. Bye.